Okay, to finish up this cardiac catheterization, so diagnostic coronary angiography without a left heart cath codes to 93454. And this means that the physician did not cross the aortic valve. In order for a left heart cath to be a true left heart cath, the physician would just cross the aortic valve and the documentation would need to support that. When reading the operative report, you would be able to tell, hopefully, that the physician did not cross the aortic valve into the left ventricle or they did. Now the coder would not separately code injections for guidance if used during any of these procedures. Now if the physician performs a left supravalvular ascending aortogram, um, the coder would code an add-on code 93567 as this is of course not included in the diagnostic cardiac catheterization codes. So let's do a couple test your knowledge. So again, um, before we get to the answer after you read this, you can pause this and see if you can look it up and we'll see if we come up with the same answer. So in end-stage renal disease, ESRD services for a 25-year-old male for the month of September. The number of face-to-face -face visits with a physician for the month totaled four. So he had four visits for the month. What is the CPT code? Now just to give you a little hint, remember this, our dialysis coding where we had um, this section here. So let's go back so you can see this. And then um, if you want to pause it um, to look up your code and then you can start it again and see what the answer is. So the answer we would have is 90960, and this would be for a patient that's 20 years or older and has four face-to-face -face visits for that month. Okay, let's do another one. Um, an intravenous or IV infusion of chemotherapy drugs for two hours. What is that CPT code? And again, you can pause it. And then you can come back. I'll give you a couple minutes, a couple seconds to pause it. Not minutes because I don't have that much time. A couple seconds. So the code, our answer, would be 96413 and 96415. So 96413 is for the first hour of IV chemotherapy and 96415 is for that second hour of IV chemotherapy. So hopefully you guys got that right. Okay, the very last one. Um, this is kind of a big one. Now under an adequate anesthesia, incisions were made in the left leg of the patient for access of the femoral catheter. A second site allowed for an insertion of the balloon-tipped catheter. After threading the balloon catheter to the heart, the blocked artery was identified. The balloon was inflated, which resulted in movement of the arthrosclerosis plaque to the sides of the artery. The balloon catheter was advanced to a second blocked artery. The same inflation method was done with good result. The balloon catheter was withdrawn. The incision sites were closed with sutures and pressure dressings. So what is the CPT code or codes? Now a hint, we learned this from chapter 13 of the cardiology surgical section. So you can pause it so you can look it up and go back to your notes if you have to and then come back for the answer. So our answer is going to be 92920 and 92921. So the procedure is describing a percutaneous transluminal coronary angioplasty. Um, and this is a PTCA. There's two vessels that were treated. So the requiring codes assigned would be 92920 and 92921. And actually the 92921 is an add-on code, therefore there is no need for modifier 51. So hopefully you guys got that right. And I think that's yep, the last scenario for this section and we can go over more questions and stuff during our labs.